In a recent interview I heard with Gail King talking to Oprah Winfrey, Gail King expressed how she loves Jay-Z's lyrics. Oprah asked, maybe you're talking about the beats, or she said, no, I love the lyrics. I find this extremely contradictory. Of course, we have respect for Jay-Z as a businessman, and we respect many of his humanitarian efforts, no doubt. But for people like Gail and Oprah, who have spent their entire lives trying to promote women and build their self-esteem, to say that she loves the lyrics, I found troubling. What I learned from that, ladies and gentlemen, is that that whole movement to restore hip-hop and get positive music out there and misogyny-free music, it was all a lie. Because what we do now is we still celebrate all of those people who put that music out there. We get them movie deals, we get them contracts, we put them on interviews, and now Oprah Magazine. And people like myself who have been positive rappers and positive musicians all of our lives are struggling. It doesn't make sense. Everybody from Bill O'Reilly to Oprah have spoken about the need for positive music but have done little to actually put it out and encourage it. At the same time, they will have these types of guests and artists on their shows on a regular basis. So what does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? What it means is that this was all a big lie. But the people like myself who are out there putting out the positive music, we're going to do it because we love it, even though we may not get validation from the mainstream. But I have to say, even though I've always felt this way, hearing those comments from somebody like Gail King, who has put her work out there trying to improve the lives of women, has been extremely problematic, but again, it represents the greater hypocrisy that is in American society as it relates to the music. So, we'll just keep pioneering on and hoping that we'll get larger audiences with our work. Help us out.